Hello, welcome to this R Square engineering video according to our bike startup uh, checklists. Um, this video is for chapter 6, um, finish of the teaching procedure and check fault memory. To finish the, the, the teaching procedure, um, please switch off the ignition and please wait at least uh, 60 seconds. Um, I've done this already so I can uh, switch back the um, ignition on. Um, I've already or I've still connected the data interface um, to the bike and to the laptop. Um, in race calibration kit software we go to tap fault memory, click delete fault memory and then click read fault code memory. Um, in this example on our bike there are no uh, fault code memory uh, fault codes listed. Um, if there are any listed any fault codes listed uh, on your bike that may can be simple uh, simple um, uh, things and simple exp explanations um, because of changes or connectors uh, you've, you've not fitted uh, or something like that um, you 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 can explain because you've um, you've done a few um, a few work or or changes on your bike um, if there are any um, problems listed according to the ECU or something like that um, please repeat the adaption procedure and if they are still appearing um, then please make a, make a screenshot and uh, send it to us. So um, please also make sure that no, um, that no um, failure lamps are, uh, are on. Um, these lamps are, are, are normal um, and um, turn off um, when you when you when you when you drive a little bit and uh, the ECU recognizes uh, the correct uh, correct signals from the from the speed rims for the, from the speed sensors. So that's it. Um, have fun with uh, your bike and especially have fun with your optimized ECU from us. And um, see you next time. Bye.